Hey, it's been a while since I saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Right? You guys having fun? All aboard the toxic gossip train. You're driving down the tracks of misinformation. The toxic gossip train. You got a one way ticket to manipulation station. Toxic gossip train. Time to the traffic saying the last week on my past. These rumors look like facts. If you don't mind the gaps, I won't survive in the crash, but hey. At least you're having fun. Uh, hi everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. So. Here I am. And um, today I only want to talk about the facts. So, I hope that you'll be willing to listen. Many years ago, I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way. I was just trying to be besties with everybody. It's kind of like uh, when you go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there who keeps coming up to you and going like, Hey girl, what's the tea? And you're like, ugh. Um, that was me, but in group chats with my fans. It was weird. I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you, and because of that, I feel like I'm talking to my friends. But in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. And there were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. But that's not very interesting, is it? So let's go on the toxic gossip train. The locomotives fueled with hateful accusations. The toxic gossip train. Steam all over someone's reputation. Toxic gossip train. Hop on board but close your eyes. Otherwise you'll realize that the train is made of lies. And that person you despise maybe didn't deserve to die. But hey. At least you're having fun. In all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes. It's something that I will continue to try to... What? Oh, you don't care? Oh. I thought you wanted me to take accountability, but that's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. Yeah. Um, I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that all of you are perfect, so please criticize me. Bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. I'm sure you're disappointed in my shitty little song. I know you wanted me to say that I was 100% in the wrong. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not going to take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout. Hey everybody, I found someone new to harass She did some things that I do not like in her past So everybody gather around, cause we're about to attack But not based on facts, oh no Your lord of lethal weapon is your fingers on the keys You don't need any armor when you can hide behind a screen So shoot me down quick, with a click, and bam My reputation's deceased Uh, I also wanted to take a minute to talk about that girl Miranda Sings. You know the one. 
Yeah, her? Oh, she's a PG-13. It says that on my website, and it's always been that way. And that's why you won't find my videos on the YouTube Kids app. Anyway, um, I didn't realize it was my responsibility to decide what was appropriate for every kid to see. I've always relied on parents to decide if they're comfortable with their families watching my YouTube videos or coming to my live shows.